Hi guys, a video about kernels. A kernel is an important thing, right? In our systems today, as you see, I'm on the XenMod kernel for a while, by a uh, well, month or so, maybe, right? So if you have issues with parts of your hardware, then one of the things people will say to you in the Linux world, don't, why don't you try another kernel? So there's the Linux kernel, the Linux hardened kernel, Linux LTS kernel, and the Linux Zen kernel. Those are the default guys for kernels from Arch. Recently, we've added XenMod, the Edge, and the LTS, right? Three more. Now, switching kernels to the latest version is okay. It's a good thing to do. It's an easy thing to do. There's no GUI necessary. It's just type Linux Zen. It will be installed. The only thing you have to think about is maybe you need the headers as well. For example, if you're using VirtualBox, install the Zen headers. Now, yeah, there's another, another thing that's important. Not every Linux kernel is created equally over time. We get like six, maybe eight kernels a month from Arch. What's the difference? There must be a difference. Why else are they creating it, right? So going back in time to a kernel that actually worked for you is also important. And that's what this video is about. It's about downgrade and it's about downgrada, both of these guys, right? Two commands. And it all started with downgrade. It's basically an application from the AOR, which is now on our system, on our repos, and I've already installed it. And with this thing, you can downgrade any package, but in, in particular, the kernel. If you update your system, just say, hey, what's happening? Why is this or that not working? The Linux kernel, pack, any packages, right, rip. Any of these packages can cause the problem because you update it. So downgrade is something interesting. Downgrade, let's make this bigger, voila, is an application and you all already saw the words. Um, if we type downgrade Linux, it says, hey, it must be run as root. That the only thing required is sudo downgrade Linux. Now you choose. Last time it worked and you move up to line 324 or even further, right? So choose a kernel and stick with that kernel. When you install the kernel, it will say, can I add it to, let's do a control T. Can I add it to pacman.conf and say to ignore it? So it will come in here, ignore package. Well, since I'm here, I can actually clean that up as well, right? An old ignore line and voila. So if I say ignore package Linux, it will never be updated, but he does that automatically. He's going to add that particular package to it. You say just yes when you install it. The next thing, these are downgra downgrade, sorry is all about Arch, right? And then I had this idea, why not, with all the repos we have, we have like 800 packages, can I downgrade them too? Yes. So I made something similar. I made downgrada. So the E here, downgrade, and the A from Arch Linux. That's how you should remember it. So downgrade, so downgrade. But then for Arc Linux stuff, like we have Dropbox on our systems. And if Dropbox is not behaving the way it should, you just go back a version. And now we're getting there. The same applies, of course, for the Linux kernels. And there are new kernels on there. ZenMod is not coming from Arch. It's coming from us. So downgrade Linux and mod. And in the meantime, we have like one, two, three, four, five, six versions 
of Xen not online. So if the one is not working, go back in time. If those are not working, switch to Zen, switch to Hard, and switch to Zen Mod Edge or the LTS Zen Mod. That's the message of the video. Remember that at some point in time, updates come in, Linux kernel gets updated, you get stuck, go back in time for that kernel, whatever kernel you've chosen, or switch, switch to another kernel, right? And both tools are available, Dangrella and downgrade. All right, cheers.